Hey everyone, so here is a question from square and square root. The question is, find the smallest number by which 2800 must be divided to get perfect square. So to solve this problem, we are going to use a prime factorization method. So first, I will go do a prime factorization of 2800 and I will try to make a pair of the factors. The one which doesn't has a pair, that will be the number to be divided here. So 2800 is an even number, we will start with 2. We will get 1400. Again, this is divisible by 2. So, 2 7s are 14. So, we'll get 700 here. Again, 700 is divisible by 2. So, we'll get 350 this time. You can divide separately if you doesn't know how to solve this. Again, 350 is divisible by 2. So, 2 1s are 2. Then, 1 is left. 2 7s are 14. Again, 1 is left. So, 5s are 10. Next, we have a 175. I'm going to write this on the other side. Now 175 is divisible by 5. Now when you're taking this, you have to take only a prime numbers. So this is not divisible by 3, so I'm taking 5 here. So 5, 3 is a 15, 2 is left, 5, 5 is a 25. 35 again goes in 5 table, 5, 7 are, and then 7 ones are. So let us rewrite what we got here. So 2800 can be written as all the factor what you got, we had to rewrite. So this is equal to. 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 and 5 into 5 and then into 7. So you can see that here we got a pair of 2's, we got a pair of 5 and there is no pair for 7. Yeah, Pair means it should be a group of 2 factors. So I have to divide both the side by 7 because this 7 is a single factor, it doesn't have any pair. So if I remove this thing then uh, we are going to get a perfect square. So divided on right hand side, uh, it can get cancelled. On left hand side, you can just cancel get 400. So 400 is equal to, I write down the remaining factors on the right hand side, which is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 5. Now you can see that you got an exact pair of factors. This means that the given number is perfect square and you can able to find out a square root of it. So square root of 400 is nothing but from each uh, pair, you take one one factor. So I'll take one factor from for first two pair that is 2 into 2 and then from 5 factor I'll take one single 5. So multiply you will get 20. I hope it's clear. Thank you so much for watching.